Hi, I'm Carolina Eich, I play the theremin, and in this lesson series I'm showing you how you can learn to play a major scale on the theremin in 12 simple steps, using the theremin technique that I developed. This is lesson number 10. If this is the first video you're watching, you might want to go back and watch lesson 1 first. I will leave the link to the playlist in the description below. Theremin lesson 10, finger position 3. Today we're going to learn about finger position 3. Now it's a bit more complicated than 7 and 6, because between 8 and 5 we only move the fingers. And from 5 to 1 we rotate the arm and we bend our wrist, close the fingers. So there's a lot going on, so that's why 3 comes a bit later and we are finally here. Before we jump into the three, let's first check also again about body posture. I haven't done that in a while. Um, tune your instrument. And then let's check one more time. Eight, five and one. And just to recall, the rotation between five and three because it's really important that we make a smooth movement here. Yeah? We don't want to first rotate the arm, then bend backwards. All movements here, it's happening at the same time. If you feel good with position 5 and you feel good with position 1, let's start from position 5 and imagine you want to go to position 1, like trick your brain, but in the middle, it's just going to stop. It's going to stop when you hear the major third. So let's go to position five. Or if you can't find it right away, you can also go first to eight and then five. And now let's think we go to position one, but actually we're gonna stop at position three. One more time. So your fingers are a bit more close than in five. And yeah, the circle is kind of diagonal. So now there is a little trick uh, how you can uh, double check if position three is correct, if it has the, the correct rotation. And so one more time. If you are in position three, or you're thinking you're in position three, from here, stretch out your fingers. Just your fingers, just simply stretch out your fingers. What you should hear is the fifth, what you usually play in position five. If that's the case, then you, you, know, you have a nice position three. I call this an extended position. There's a lot more extended finger positions. I won't go into detail today, but this is how you can check if the angle, the rotation of your hand is correct in finger position three. After you've gone to three, let's then continue to position one. What you could also do is yeah, just to double check the rotation is correct. Here's the exercise 531, 531, or 53 extended position 31. That's all for today. If you want to learn more about extended positions, you are very welcome to sign up for an online lesson with me. Until next time, learn your finger position 3 and practice the exercise 5, 3, 1. Learning an instrument is never easy. And of course, this is just an introduction to a theremin technique. If you want to learn more techniques in depth, I recommend you buy my theremin method book. You can find the link in the description of this video. In the next lesson, you're going to learn the remaining positions, finger position 2 and 4. I will see you then.